Hi, my name is Ted Forrest. I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. The Shooting Star event's a fun event. I mean, you get 5,000 every time you knock out a Shooting Star. Uh, the leader at the end of the first day gets 10,000, I think. The leader at the end of the second day gets 10,000. On the third day, you go to six-handed play, which I like. So they, they mix it up a lot. It's a fun tournament. Yeah, I think going to six-handed play kind of gets you into that mode of you're not playing nine-handed, ten-handed hold'em. You know, the final TV table six-handed, so that kind of prepares you for that. Yeah. Do I aspire to be card player, player of the year? Uh, I don't know that I aspire to it, but if I happen to fall anywhere uh, close to the lead in the next few months, I'll probably play a few more tournaments. This is my fourth WPT final table. Uh, the first final table was the 25,000 Bellagio, where I finished fifth. Then at the Commerce, I finished fourth. Uh, at the Mirage, I finished second. So I keep improving my position. So I got a good feeling about this one. This, this should be the one to win. Actually, on day three, my cards fell extremely dead for about six or eight hours. I was pretty short stacked, and I was at, at the table with David Williams, uh, Jeff Madsen, and Joe Seabach. All of them had million dollar chip stacks. So I was kind of forced into, into a fold and survive mode, which uh, I may have never folded as many hands as in this tournament. Uh, you know, kind of just holding on with two, three hundred thousand, waiting for an opportunity to double up. Um, finally, uh, you know, I found the ace king of clubs and double up with that hand. And once I got a little more chips, I could play a little bit more normally. Well, I don't really care too much about money, so I guess the title means more to me.